All right, guys, so I just got back from my run, and we have a pumpkin sitting around the house, nothing to do with it. So I figured we'd shoot it with an arrow and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, so I got three different types of tips here that I want to shoot at just to see what would happen. So this one's just a uh, cheap uh, three-blade broadhead from Walmart, and then I got a field point, and then I got a smaller little four blade muzzy that I'm going to shoot at as well. Um, it's a small pumpkin, so it's probably not going to be too crazy looking, but I'm interested to see what happens. All right, so we set the pumpkin up on top of the bag down there, and you can see the GoPros with it as well. So hopefully we can see what it looks like when the arrow hits, but I'm going to start off and take a couple practice shots because it's a little bit closer. It's at about 15 yards right now. My pin set at 20. Oh no! <laughs> I hit it! Oh. Also, it basically went all the way through. I would say it did if it didn't fall and hit the ground. But you can see it stopped right there at the fletchings. All right, we're a little sandy, but you can see what the field point did. This is a pumpkin pie <laughs> pumpkin, so it's a little different on the inside, I guess. But that's our entry. That's our exit. Hit it a little low, but basically went all the way through. All right, so now I got the uh, muzzy. It's the four-blade broadhead here. Uh, it's been shot into the dirt before, so that's why I'm shooting at a pumpkin again. Uh, I hit the field point first shot, so we'll see how this flies. Oh. All right, shot number two. All right, so we we barely hit it. I guess the blades kind of went like that, cut right through there. So uh, I'm probably gonna take a step closer so we can hit it this time. One. Nailed it. So really not too impressive, I would say. Uh, I mean, the blades are gonna cut, but uh, didn't cut too wide, but uh, yeah, it'd kill it. <laughs> last broadhead. All right, so it's time for the last broadhead, the Walmart special. We're gonna see what it does to the pumpkin. I think it has a bigger cutting diameter than the last one. So I assume that it's gonna cut a little bit bigger, but it's also a little bit fatter, so we'll see. So that went straight through our baby pumpkin and then lodged itself in the dirt here. And I could just tell by when it hit, it was a lot more powerful. So it looks like, yeah, right there, I'll show you. Is it focused on that? You could see where the, all the four blades actually went in and then it angled itself down a little bit. That's the exit. So not a big exit wound, but you can see where the blades traveled through. That cut pretty wide, that <laughs> that'd do some damage. Yep, on you. All right, guys, so I'm back in the garage now cleaning everything up. But that was a pumpkin versus three different arrows, uh, two broad heads, and one field point. Thanks for watching.